What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about some of the best looking zones in the Elder Scrolls Online. The gameplay that you're going to see in the background is a, a kind of a fun run of Hell Ross Citadel. I had some guild members uh, in one of the guilds that I'm in saying they were going to do a fun run for some people that, you know, were lower level that had never done it. Just going to run it through on normal. So they're asking me, you know, if anybody wanted to come just hang out and help. So I decided to go along on my mad crow, you know, just to go. Why not? It'll be fun. Be a good time, you know, for people to experience something that they'd never experienced before. And when I was watching this game play back, I kind of looked at, you know, the the trial itself and got to thinking, man, this is really cool looking. Even on an old gen console, uh, some of these areas that they have made in the game. And that kind of got me to thinking about some of the best looking zones, dungeons, trials, all that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, even on old gen, a lot of these areas are still absolutely amazing looking. You go to new gen, it looks even better. And of course, if you play on PC. Some of the areas in game, some of the zones are absolutely breathtaking. So I'm kind of curious what your uh, favorite zone is in game. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. If you have a favorite zone, favorite dungeon, favorite trial, just something that you really enjoy the look of, leave me a comment. I would love to see what you guys think. Before I get into all the details, kind of my thoughts, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT racing. Um, I, I think when it comes to zones in general, a lot of people, uh, always kind of gravitate towards Somerset. That's one area that I've always seen uh, people talk about, you know, it, it's been how gorgeous Somerset is. And I do think Somerset is a really nice looking area. Uh, Somerset has some really nice, uh, you know, delves and, and public dungeons, that kind of thing. But just the look overall, uh, even the furnishing, st uh, the furnishing styles that come from uh, Somerset are really nice looking. But that white marble look in the zone of all the buildings, those real bright, you know, flowers and, and you know, scenery in the ocean. And it, it's just a really cool looking place. But I'm not sure if it's my personal favorite. My personal favorite may be a little bit odd for some people. But when it comes to another zone that a lot of people talk about, and that's definitely Vardenfell with those, you know, large bright mushrooms and kind of that uh just that nostalgic feeling of some past elder scrolls games uh i think vardenfell was definitely one when it was released that was very eye-catching and that is always the thing that stands out to me when i'm in vardenfell is those bright you know kind of large mushrooms that you see kind of everywhere uh one that i really enjoyed when it first came out was clockwork city it was something that looked different something a little bit different than what we'd seen in game and now why i guess i could say it kind of reminds me of the dwarven ruins and things in game you know with that kind of mechanical look i thought just the whole aesthetic uh, of uh, clockwork city was really really nice and i will say the team over at zoss has done a great job no matter the zone you're in uh, no matter the dungeon you're in, no matter the trial you're in, they have done a magnificent job with the way that these places are designed, the way they look. But I thought Clockwork City, just that whole mechanical kind of dark, gloomy feel was really, really unique. Probably two of my favorites, two that I really, really like, would be Rothgar and Western Skyrim. I'm a big fan of that uh, kind of snowy brick almost viking kind of feel if that's how some people feel about it some people may have a different opinion about it but that's always the feel that i get it's almost that viking kind of look you know you got the snow you have the mountains you have the brick style buildings of course you can go underground in western skyrim which i think is really really cool looking uh you know those bright blues and things like that the kind of that dark uh almost vampiric look so i, I would say rothgar and western skyrim stand out for all those reasons for me uh, some other places people really like are some of the base zones in games and in, in the game. And I really will say some of the base zones, some of the first areas you start out in, whether you just now started playing the game or you started out when that was all that was available. Some of the base zones are absolutely amazing. Uh, there's so many of those I can't really even, don't even want to go over every single one of them. But just in general, there's many base zones in game that really stand out, that are really popular, that are really nice looking. And oddly enough, my favorite zone, which is, like I said, some people may disagree, is probably Cold Harbor. I don't know what it is about that really dark kind of uh, strange look with that really clear crystal blue water. But something about Cold Harbor I just have always really enjoyed. I don't know what it is, why I like that look. It's just kind of eye-catching to me personally. And like I said, this video is just for fun to kind of give it. Uh, get some ideas of what you guys like in game. So like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you'd like to hit the like and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.